When we look into the recent development, how citizens see and want to experience emergency services, we see that there's quite a change in demand and expectation. Citizens do assume that emergency services should know where they are. They do assume that they can see what the citizens can see in case they are in contact with emergency services. And of course, they expect that emergency services can help them in acting and assisting in a difficult situation. And there's another element with where we believe where emergency services should be able to move, where citizens probably can't move anymore. We know that all of these expectations can be solved with today's technology, but still, as emergency communication is something that is very much bound to normal, standard, straightforward telephony, this is not the case of being implemented today. Whilst we see that caller location with satellite precision can add a lot in understanding where something is happening for emergency services to better and faster respond, there is also big value in showing images and probably sharing two-way video, which can be done as well with current technologies. And also with many people having access to smartphones during an emergency communication, sending content to guide the callers is something that is quite useful and quite easy to achieve as well. But there's one element which would like to talk about today is the use of UAVs and drones in emergency communication to reach a higher level of mobility and agility. Why would we want to use UAVs or drones in emergency communications? There's probably two good reasons for this. One reason is that the situation itself is too dangerous to get people moving on site and to use drone with video capabilities is quite a useful aspect to better understand the situation. Another one is that probably an area is not accessible as it could have been under normal conditions and therefore, well, we can't bring people there. You probably might have used a helicopter so far under these kind of conditions, but yes, using a helicopter really is very, very expensive and with a huge amount of effort in order to get the situation moving forward. So a drone or a UAV can be quite a good approach in order to get a better understanding of that kind of situation. Let's have a look at how a wire can solve this situation. With the drone flying up and operated by a pilot or a camera operator, it literally has achieved a higher point of view. And flying over a specific landscape with the radio connection to the ground operator, it can transmit images or streaming pictures. So when the drone is hovering over the area, we can feed these videos into the Scopia conferencing solution in the crisis management center or in the command and control center. What's the benefit of this? Well, the benefit is, I think many people have seen this over the past couple of years when discussing drones in emergency services, sharing a picture is much more powerful than just talking about it. But on the other hand, we see that under many conditions where drones have been tried in emergency communication, they send the picture to the ground operator and maybe also to the big huge video wall in the command and control room. But what about those that are outside of the command and control room? Why shouldn't they have access to the same streaming video as well? Viewing and also viewing recorded videos or stored videos even if they are just beside the affected area with their mobile devices like smartphones or tablets to get access to the live flying drone view here as well. Think about it, could be quite an interesting approach for your emergency response organization as well.